In this game, I originally intended to pick the worst augments to show you an example of playing from a bad spot, but then I ended up getting offered Story Champion, the Garen Carry augments, with getting the Bard encounter as well, where everybody starts at level 3. So this is a pretty good example of that. Yeah, here's Garen Hero augments. Um, when this video gets released, it's going to be the day of the patch. So I'm not going to be able to play any games in 14.7 until the day after. But basically, um, in this game, I thought I'd just try something where I pick bad augments on purpose to show you that you could still maybe get a good spot even if augments aren't that ideal for your spot. This will also give me a chance to practice um, just playing something a little bit different because sometimes, let's just say you lag out, you get picked the wrong augment or something, or you're just trying to learn from mistakes. That's something that I'm going to hopefully be able to show in this game here. So whatever my placement is, I'm just going to take it. I'm also mainly doing this because I'm waiting for the patch to drop anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and just play whatever we can in the early game here. This could potentially be a fortune game because I got to drop the Tristana here. It's a gold opener. But yeah, um, at the time of making this video right now, patch drops tomorrow, so this is still the Yone patch. I'm not gonna play Yone though, because Yone is just gross. Sell and make 10 gold. I'm gonna go for fortune. Garen reroll. Well, I did say picking the worst augment or like bad augments. So let's go for this Garen augment. Mythic emblem. Like this is gonna be a lot better next patch. Right now though, let's take this crappy Garen and I'm trying to make this augment work. So I'm gonna play Fortune. I'm also, okay, this is also really bad because I'm, I'm playing um, a reroll comp when the game everybody starts at level three. So you miss your opportunity to get some, some uh, lower cost chops. There's a hit Fortune, just got the rest of the board. Metabolic, Ghostly, Built Different, Arcanist, Escort Quest, and Wandering Trainer. Altruist Porcelain. So yeah, um, this comp, apparently all you play is, let me see, Vertical um, Story Weaver. I just played a, a Vertical Story Weaver game. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. This is actually my first time I've ever taken this long, but... Temporary Deathblade and death cap. Interesting. So I'm looking for wardens, right? Alright, let's give up on fortune. Let's just make 20. If the fight's hard, I'll put the items on Garen. Since I got a gold opener, um, I'm, I'm thinking BT Titans Hodge for this guy. Because this augment basically turns him into a fighter. Well, <laughs> let's see if we can hit some Garens on level 4. Let's do this and make 30. So, Garen, looking for Wardens. Maybe like four Warden, and then I'll just play like some Arcanist backline. But the problem is, somebody took Arcanist emblem. There's also somebody with a Porcelain emblem. Um, so, maybe not maybe not Arcanist, but I'll, I'll think of something. 
Maybe like Sniper Wardens. Like Ash or something. Snipers. I have this guy for Sniper. He's doing decent, but that's just because he has two items. So, yeah, important item here. I'm thinking Titans is good. BT is good. Let's go for a chain so I can make a Titans. Looks like Sword is going to get taken anyway. Actually, wait, let me, let me look up this comp. Storied champion TFT. What what do you actually play when you when you go this comp? Warden, Sage, Story Weaver, Jax. Uh Honestly, that doesn't sound very good to me, but I don't know, maybe. So we're playing Garen Curry, we can give Kale um and this. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna give Garen the the stuff, but like, I guess I can just support some backliners here. Let's go with um, Story Weaver. If the fight's hard, I oh, will slam Hodge. Let's go ahead and make it right now. Playing build different, they're playing build difference, and I have a really weak board. So this is a problem because I like I can't roll on level four. I mean I could a little bit, but I don't think it's worth it. I I'm, I'm probably just slow roll on five. Here's the warden champions. This guy's also a warden. What's my level five gonna be? Four warden, three story weaver. Or like, four warden, sniper. I, do, I feel like I don't play Story Weaver right now. I should probably drop it. Play it later. It's like Story Weaver, I don't think it's doing anything right now. Do I win this fight? I guess getting a lot of max HP this fight. I mean, he's basically uh, set set ten Garen right now, almost. Yeah, this guy's basically just just Garen from from the previous sets. I guess that's like the best way to think about it. Let's just go for the comp. Um, so the comp is... You play Zyra. Zyra Morgana. And then Galio. Then you find Lissandra later. But in the meantime, you just play other Story Weavers. Other Arcanists. Okay, I, I think this comp is starting to make sense. Just looking at the the team set up here. Okay, here's Titans, here's a half a BT. This can be redemption. I think I could play this for right now. Start rolling a little. Maybe like Sniper Porcelain. So you don't need Riven, you don't need Sivir. Titans, okay. I'm gonna go for BT. This comp... Yeah, yeah. It, it makes sense. You play like Sniper backline, or you play like a... 
Arcanist backline. Lissandra's probably best, but you can like settle with Ash. This guy this guy's basically your front line. He's like your fighter front line, pretty much. And building redemption on the front line is really good because the more HP he has, then this thing does more true damage. So you want some healing on him, if possible. As much Omni Vamp. Silver tickets. Also, uh, these augment stats are patch, are um, patch fourteen point eight, not the current patch. So just ignore these st these stats right now. Um, exiles. I actually don't think it's that good here. Team building kind of helps my situation a little bit. Item grab bag. Let's go for item grab bag. Edge of night. No, I don't know about that one. Maybe four warden. Who's this edge of night gonna go on? Definitely not Garen, because he needs BT. Um I guess like it's fine on Ash for now. I could just find another unit later. This guy does a lot of damage, but I think like you have to make sure that he has the, the true damage bonus, otherwise it doesn't look very good. All right, and it's also max HP, not percent HP. Just making sure. Okay, huge. There's a Moo Moo. Maybe like I could play like temporarily a Philios Ash back line and then move on to something else. This augment is apparently really, really bad. So... And it's even worse with the Bard encounter. I'm not sure if item grab by was the worst augment there. I think it was the worst augment because like the only good thing I could have gotten was BT or something. Or like redemption. Every other item I don't think would have been really good. So I picked the worst augment in my case there. I mean obviously late game specialist, but like that that this makes me down a silver augment entirely. I, I originally plan intended for this video to be like pick the worst augments. I guess it's like partially true. Champion duplicator. Let's go for sword. It's like maybe BT. I'm gonna go for cheer. If cheer gets taken, I can go for belt. I think. Can I get my redemption? I think I could put this as a knight on just like my late game carry. It's, it, it was free, anyway. I'm gonna dig here. One off. So I'm gonna restart restart Jax, let's just place redemption on him as well. this guy. Alright, there's our Garen with Titan's Hodge. I mean, honestly, he gets like 400 HP every cast. Maybe like 500 when it's stacked. He gets like a War Mogs every time he casts. That's, that's pretty good. And the Titan's giving him some tankiness.
picking the first war like I guess I could title this video like picking the worst first dog moon I get offered. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Maybe just like Edge of Night on Morgana. For this, um, Jax, I, I'll probably just find him eventually. Cause I don't think I need to roll anymore. I was push levels. And I'm gonna try to find Lissandra as soon as possible. It's so like level six. I level six forty gold. I can econ up. Uh, go to level eight. Go to level nine. Storied, stored, 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 story champion, not stored. Okay, I'm, I'm fumbling my words right now. I can't imagine, like, I mean, because next patch they're nerfing Titans AP scaling, they're making it um, one AP instead. So if you're putting Titans on this guy in the next patch, Yes, he did get a buff, but I guess it's just like neutral because you lose the AP anyway. So I, I next patch, I don't think Garrett is gonna be good even with this augments. No sword. I kind of want to play Sage here. It's just level. Because uh, Sage also gives him Garen more Omni Vamp, which is what he needs. I'm I want to make Even Shroud here, but I can't because I need this cloak for BT. So to get some anti heal on the board, probably just slam some fire here. Because there's no other use for the belts other than this Even Shroud. But I'm gonna find Armor Shroud in some other way, Moss Whisper, or maybe an Even Shroud off Carousel in the late game or something. So this guy's gaining a lot of HP every fight, and as long as he keeps on healing up and having more max HP, he does more damage. With true damage, so... Can't complain. It's looking pretty strong. Here's another Sage Champion, maybe I could play it temporarily. Get a random 5 cost champion and a random trade that shares with them. Hero grab bag lets me instantly 3 star jacks. I don't think that's a good use of my augment though. Big grab bag lets me finish BT probably. I'm on my way to level 9 anyway, I probably don't need dynamic duo. Support cash is probably pretty good too. This is the correct choice, this is like the, the gambling choice. Because if I hit Lissandra, my board is, is stable. Oh, my board's like already pretty stable right now, so let's go for a big grab bag. Pandora's on 4-2, never take that. Yeah, there's my sword. These are like, these can be Lissandra items as well. Let's just make Sage right here. Like Morgana carry, whatever. All right, BT Titans Hodge. This guy has a bunch of Omni Vamp from Sage. He has BT, he has Hand of Justice, a lot of Omni Vamp. I did drop Ash, so I need um, more backline now, because I don't think Morgana solo carry is going to do much. It's all up to Garen for these fights. He still has 2000 HP. 540 shield each cast. Dang, this guy's going crazy. Morgana. Yeah, I'm playing too many too many frontliners, but I mean this is Warden, so 
you just play it. Let's see. I, I think the only counter to this comp is like burst damage, so like Kaisa and Cinder are probably pretty good into Garen. Redemption helps mitigate that a little bit. Giant Slayer, Sniper Slogus. This Garen's probably gonna get I'm gonna die. I mean the the Mariana Chill is kinda helping. Yeah, okay. There goes my Garen. Need Lissandra to beat this probably. I could also reforge this as an edge of knight because of the grab bag. Where's the beast? Um, let's go for tier so I can make Shojin. Otherwise, JG is good, Deathcap's good, Morello's good, Archangels is okay. I really want a tier. Um, let's see, JG. I mean, it gives me Irelia, which is a story weaver, and it'll it'll do for now. Kale's back. All right, I'm gonna reforge this uh, such a knight. Okay, perfect. I mean, like, I already have some fire, but this is this is still pretty good. Like, I don't think I'm playing Irelia on my final board. Because Irelia without Duelist sucks. Like, if you play Irelia without Duelist, you need Rage Blade. Otherwise, she's just not that good. Um, otherwise, like, if I hit a Rage Blade, I guess I'll play it. Like, Lissandra's, like, my best level 9 here. Actually, maybe play Aurelia instead of Galio. Like, this makes more sense. This is... Hmm. Maybe, like, the, the comp sheet said Galio, because Aurelia can be hard to hit. But if you hit an Aurelia, you just play Aurelia instead. And Sport is pretty strong, especially build difference. Nar carry. This person hit Lissandra. Not yet. Porcelain dummy. That's like, yeah, porcelain. Porcelain's getting nerfed next patch. At least six porcelain, I believe. And then the um, boiling point augment's also getting nerfed. So it's still strong right now because of the current patch, but next patch is going to be nerfed. I think. Garen is good against comps like these, where you just don't have that much burst damage. But if this is Lux 3, I would have lost. Okay, I'm on my way to level 9. I don't think Jax 3 is happening. I should probably move the items over to a tankier warden. Probably a Mumu. Because, actually, maybe a Lowie's tankier, because she has. Ghostly Arcanist active as well. Yeah, probably Malawi. I.e. Rage Blade, Double Redemption. It's like, I, I would make Lissandra items, but like, I don't have Lissandra right now. So I might as well just play around Irelia. And then Double re Redemption for this guy. Okay. Just shoot, shoot to level 9. 
There is an encounter on 5-3, so to be a little careful. Could be potentially game-changing. It just depends. Fighting built different. I have a feeling build difference is going to be pretty scary next patch. I think I said that when I played the build different game. Because I, I did pretty well with four costs in this current patch, and they're not really that great. And they're all getting HP buffs next patch, so like I'm, I'm assuming build difference is going to be really good. Um, Garen reroll so far is looking okay. I'm not sure if it's just because this lobby is not looking too strong. There's no Yone player. Maybe people think it's the new patch or something, I don't know. We still have the like the Kaisa player here. No Yone player. Alright. After this encounter, or like after Curse on the level. Nar. So I have anti heal on the front line. I also have double redemption. Pretty sure my Garen then will be okay. Or maybe not. I don't know. Let's, let's double Titans Nar. It's looking close. Oh, never mind. Dang, Nar, Nar is stronger than I thought. I thought, I thought Garen was going to be able to keep up. But he got hammered pretty hard. Guess the outcome of your next fight. Can I beat this? Probably. Can I beat Lux 3? With two items? Probably. Yeah, I'll go for I uh, win. Since I'm predicting win, let's just level and play something else. Lissandra, maybe. Okay, Sage also works. Alright, four Sage. This guy has... How much? 50% Omni Vamp. 65% Omni Vamp. 80 if it's doubled. Lux. There's only two items, no combat arguments, just crests. I think I'm fine. Agarin's just gonna stack HP, Lux can't kill him. Unless Garen gets stuck on the Mubu here, it's just, I, I don't know. Okay, Zyra is still alive. Okay, I'm fine. Maybe this comp varies in power, it just depends on who you're fighting. That's a Aurelia pair, like Irelia 2. I'd probably take Irelia 2. Like Lissandra's Lissandra, but I kinda want Irelia 2. Damn, we'll still get. I mean, I guess I. Oh, yeah, I'll just play 4 Sage until I find Lissandra. I think Lissandra's better just because she provides CC. And itemless Wukong is, like, as a trade bot, it's not really that good. Here's Lissandra. Okay. I really do. Position Lissandra in a way where she'll attack a nearby unit near Garen, so he can be a little bit more protected, maybe. You want Lissandra to stun, like, somebody Garen's attacking. This is, uh, this uh, Kaisa is gonna hurt pretty hard, though. This is also a ghost board. It's looking pretty scary. That was a pretty close fight.
This is Annie 3. Oh no. Let's move Viralia to the side. Like, I haven't really been moving my units because, like, I feel like I haven't had the need to. Let's move it this fight here. Any three? Oh, it's gonna be kind of scary. I saw a video where somebody, um, there's like a technique you can do. Basically, if you're fighting like a super tank like Annie, you can corner Alessandra and then she will kill the Annie. Like, if there's only one unit left. Because Alessandra has an insta kill mechanic. Looks like I might be able to do it for this fight. Like, if Alessandra was alive right now and she casted, Annie would be dead. So, I could probably get away with it. I think I'll try to do that. Um, am I gonna win this game? It's hard to say, because I've never seen this Garen thing win before. Also, Garen's win rate is... Wait, let me see, let me see the, the, the stats of this augment. Patch 14.7. Story champion. Um, 6.4% win rate, average placement of 4.8, 4.98, so pretty much average, average placement of 5. Statistically, you are losing LP when you play this comp. Or like this augment. So yeah. Let's itemize Morgana next. Adaptive Helm. I guess I can start going for Morgana 3. Fighting uh, Nar once again. I hit Los Nar 2. I don't expect myself to win, if I'm being honest. Because these comps are looking pretty strong. Garen is just like. I think he pops a little too easily later. I think you. Honestly, I think you can take this long just for tempo. And after that, you. You pretend like you never had Garen. This is a Garen augment. If I can somehow beat um, this Annie Dori, I have to position a little differently this fight. It's middle Garen. Let's let like middle Irelia do something like this. Lux will waste some casts on the Zyra here. Looks like two casts. Oh, uh, they hit Lissandra too. I don't know if I can win this. I need someone else to knock out this uh, Porcelain player. I mean, stop for at least. Fighting any three, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try the, the technique here. Basically, you like you, um, you you corner the the Lissandra. so something like this, and then and, and like she'll be like the last one alive, and hopefully she can cast on the Annie. Cause like they don't have any backline. It's just it's just an Ash. But looks like it's not gonna happen this fight though. I think your like your team has to. Yeah, that any dumb. <laughs> it's rough. Story Weaver emblem. Let 
me see. Double depth of home. Like the, the general idea of how to beat this is pretty much like you you kill all the units on the board and he's lost one. Lissandra is in the corner stuck so she doesn't go up. And then you end the fight that way. Yeah, porcelain player, I don't think I'm beating that. Especially Lissandra too, yeah, it's, it's not happening. <laughs> Position wrong side. Maybe I could get away with it because I'm fighting ghost. I really got stunned. Garen's dead. Pretty sure I'm dead because, like in the previous fight, they didn't have Lissandra too. Now they do. They even beat Annie three. Close game. I mean, I'm surprised I went third place with, with this augment here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the power of Porcelain reroll right now. A Arcanist. So yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is the last video on patch 14.7b. The video after this one will be patch 14.8, brand new patch. So this is just like one of those, a, a video I just made real quick because I had nothing else to do. Well, let's get her in reroll for you.